Hello, our group is having an experiment called finding a focal length of a convex lens. And I will introduce you steps to find a focal length of a convex lens. An aim of this lab is to find a focal length of a convex lens. In this experiment, we need one tea candle screen matchbox and a convex lens. First of all, we should stand the screen on the table so that image can be reflected to the screen. After setting the screen, light up the candle and then place it on the table so that the tea candle would face the screen on the opposite side. Then place the convex lens between the lens and the screen and move the lens up and down until you get a clear image displaying on the screen. In this experiment, a blurry image of a candlelight will be shown when it is on the focal point of a convex lens. When the object is far away enough to be outside the focal point of a converging lens, a real image would form. When you find a right point, then measure the distance from candle to the lens, which is U, and the distance from the lens to the screen, which is known as V. Calculation Our group used thin lens equation shown on the picture, which is 1 over d to the base of object plus 1 over d to the base of image is equal to 1 over f, we will be able to derive the focal length of the graph. Since d to the object is the distance between the object to the lens and d to the image is equal to the distance between the lens to the screen or image, they are both equivalent to u and v. In this calculation, we used the formula to find the average of the focal length by using the values of u and v from data table 1. As a result, we got approximately 10.03 centimeters of focal length, which also just suggests that there were some errors associated because the actual focal length shown on the graph was about 9.03 centimeters. Analysis In our focal length of a convex lens graph, Horizontal and vertical asymptote was drawn to closely examine the approximate estimation of the focal length. Within the graph, the focal point of the graph is plotted red on the left bottom of the graph. The xy coordinates are 9.03 and 8.89 in centimeters. X coordinate shows the focal length of the convex lens, which is about 9.03 centimeters. Also, the curve of the best feet was drawn to estimate the close curve of the graph. There are some spaces with no dots, but what does this mean? It means that there are possible changes that can be made in order to improve and alter our results of the experiment. These empty spots show us that we did not get enough data points when we were collecting measurements of U and V. As a result, According to graph, our group needs to focus more on getting the U values between 5 to 20 centimeters, 60 to 85 centimeters. To see it clear, the blue line was drawn to show the empty spots. Possible errors that occurred in our experiment can be due to human errors. For instance, our graph shows an empty spot on certain points. In other words, we were not careful in measuring all possible area for the experiment. As a result, errors are due to human errors, such as measurement errors, when measuring the length of U and V. In this experiment, U is the distance between the candle and the lens, and the V is the distance between the lens and the screen. Moreover, it was hard to measure an experiment because the room was too dark, as well as the pro problems due to human errors. As this experiment is carried out by three amateur students, there are also other possible errors that might have happened during the experiment. The length of our focal length was approximately 9.03 cm. However, our average focal length from the ex experiment was approximately 10.75 centimeters, which shows that there might have been some errors in collecting data or recording. 
Our group members can improve the results of our experiment based on finding the focal length of a convex lens by having more lights while measuring the length of UMV. Also, we should be more careful and precise in recording our data. In addition, we could have been more thoroughly planned and prepared for our experiment before the procedures so that we would perfectly know every procedures and steps. Conclusion In this experiment, our graph of data points show that the focal length of our convex lens is approximately 9.03 cm. This means that anything that is beyond the focal length would not show any real images. It will be virtual. However, if the distance between the lens and the candlelight is greater than 9.03 cm, a real image would form. In other words, if the object is far away so that it would be outside the focal point of the converging lens, a real image would form, which is upside down. Sources of errors also were significant in this experiment, because the accumulated data points would be the plot in the graph of focal length of a convex lens. Moreover, these errors are again due to human errors, such as wrong measurements or other possible causes. As a result, our group members, including myself, have learned to find the focal length of a convex lens and the relationship between the convex lens and the focal length. Thus, light always converges when passing through a convex lens. On the other hand, the light diverges in concave lenses. In addition, converging lenses would form a real image when the object viewing is far away to be outside of the focal point of the convex lens. Our group members, Jehi, Robbie, and including myself, thank Ms. Renneberg for giving us this fantastic opportunity to learn about lenses. And we also thank you for giving us the extension so that we can finish our videos on time. Thank you.